Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Kenny and I'm here to talk to you about the Flex Menstrual Disc. Unlike other period products, the disc is made without BPA, phthalates, or natural rubber latex. It's also hypoallergenic, doctor recommended, FDA registered, and made with 100% medical grade polymer. So there's four really simple steps to nailing this disc. And then once you do, you can wear it for up to 12 hours without worry. Step one is pinch. Step two, body position. Step three, insertion. And step four, removal. Ready to make it happen? Cool, let's get started. First of all, I know that the disc looks huge, but it's actually super flexible, and once it's inside, it'll mold to fit your body. In order to insert the disc, you have to pinch it in half, and then once you do that, it'll be about the size of your average tampon. Before you begin, be sure that the disc is the right side up. The video shows the wrong side first, and then flips over to the correct side. The transparent reservoir should be on the underside of the black rim. Step two, get in position. Here's three different options that you can try. Sitting on the toilet, standing with one leg up, or squatting. Whatever works for you will work for flex. Step three, insertion. Begin inserting the pinched disc by pointing it downwards in a vertical position and sliding it into the vaginal canal as far as you can while continuing to pinch. I know this angle may seem weird at first, but check out the diagrams to reference hand position from the front and top view. Once the disc is about halfway in, reposition your hand and point your thumb towards yourself to help guide it in the rest of the way until it sits at the base of your cervix. It should sit right behind your pubic bone. So now that you've got the disc inside of you, what can you expect? Well, expect a reduction in cramps, 12 hours of uninterrupted, worry-free use, and even mess-free period sex. Feel free to pause the video in order to see the rest of the life-changing benefits. If the disc starts to get full before it's time to change it, give this pro tip a try. Sit on the toilet and push down on your pelvic floor muscles as if you're trying to poop. This will cause some of the blood inside the disc to fall into the toilet. Then once you're done, using a clean finger, push the disc back into your vagina or do a kegel and then voila, back in business. And the last step, removal. So now that you've been hiking, biking, swimming, or even having sex for the past 12 hours, it's time to remove your flex disc. Most importantly, try to relax. Sit on the toilet and then push your muscles as if you're trying to poop. Then use your finger, I like to use my forefinger, to hook underneath the rim of the disc and pull it forward, keeping it parallel to the floor. Holding the disc upright, empty the blood into the toilet. Insert the disc back into its wrapper or toilet paper and then throw it away. And boom, that's it. 